Just looking out of the window, watching the asphalt grow. <laughs> thinking how it all looks handy. How do you know the words to good times? You know I'm black on the inside. Know the words to good times? Well, that means you're black inside. Welcome back, everyone. Glad you're here. I'm Drone Tech, and if you're watching right now, it's probably because you want to laugh at the cringe fest that is Chris Cuomo, brother to sausage enthusiast and grandma killer Andrew Cuomo. There are so many memorable Cuomo cringe moments when he told people not to look at Democrat scandal filled WikiLeaks because it was illegal. No, you had to go to CNN to see that. Or when he posted the profound cosmic question, where in the Constitution does it say protests are supposed to be peaceful? We have no idea, Sensei. That's why we come to you. Here are some of the responses to Cuomo's coming out as black inside. Managing editor of Sister to Sister magazine and News Onyx, clearly race based public publications how progressive but she was of course very offended saying quote it's fucking offensive black isn't something you can just say you feel you are inside without having to deal with the racism that comes with being physically black on the outside this is cultural appropriation the same lady said black is not a costume i don't get to be white when i don't feel like not dealing with racism or racist police or just regular bullshit black people deal with i can't even hide at home because i can be killed they're in my bed so understand and there is nothing silly about this. Okay, that's what you would call some deeply ingrained schizophrenic racist paranoia. Chris Cuomo just said to Don Lemon out loud on Wolf Blitzer CNN, you know, I'm black on the inside. And we had to turn off the television because I'm not here for that nonsense. CNN needs to have some sensitivity training with their on-air personalities. Uh-oh, time for a little critical race theory re-education. I swear, the woke are nothing if not completely inconsistent. So you can say that you feel like a man or a woman on the inside, even though you have no idea what it's like to be the opposite sex, and to even question that is considered hateful and actually denying their right to exist. But somebody can make an offhand comment and a genuine attempt to show solidarity, as pathetic as it is, and suddenly that previous warped logic is just right out the window. It's just more proof that these people who buy and to wokeism aren't actually thinking through any of it. It's a purely emotional based response to whatever the outrage flavor of the month is. So I'm obviously not a fan of Chris Cuomo or anything, but I think this outrage towards him is just so transparent and indicative of what we see from the inconsistent woke left. Now, I do want to pivot here a little bit and show you guys some clips from the media that I find very concerning. The media seems to be generating a lot of hate and fear and, in fact, violence towards their political opposition in the Republican Party. The GOP is a mix of white supremacy and fascism and dangerous lies and hypocrisy. It's a dangerous cocktail. That's the GOP. I mean, people get really mad when you, people like you and people like me say that, but prove us wrong. I don't know what all you can say about this. I'm not a huge fan of the Republicans, but I don't for a second think that they're a party of fascism or white supremacy. Their only purpose here is to wipe out all political opposition paving the way for one party rule for the foreseeable future. And it goes even further than that because if people really buy into the stuff these people are saying, they're going to feel completely justified in taking some sort of action. Because essentially what these media propagandists are telling them is that there's these evil armed up monsters that are coming for them actively. Reed even says it herself saying quote, I mean people get really mad when people like you and people like me say that, but prove us wrong. Of course there's no possible way of proving them wrong. Again, it's just like the Salem witch trials. You could be accused of being a witch, but there's no way you could ever prove you weren't. The only way you could save yourself was just to admit you were a witch and then join the mob in accusing other people of being witches. That's exactly what we're dealing with here. I want to remind everybody about the GOP baseball game shooting where a Bernie supporter showed up and started unloading on the Republicans that were there while saying this is for health care. This all happened after weeks of the Democrats and their media hammering Republicans claiming that they want you to die. And now what we're seeing is something very similar where they're essentially saying Republicans want all of you to die. But now we're going to get to the point where they start actually inciting violence towards Republicans. All right, that's all the hate and vitriol I can take from the Democrat state media for one day. Don't agree with me? Join the official Drone Tech Politics Discord server and we can schedule a live chat on whatever topic you would like to discuss. And to that point, you can watch me discuss so-called kids in cages tonight with a guest who has a beef with me from last week's debate on Dylan Burns' Hippy Dippy debate stream. You can catch that here tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.